I came here for the spin bike. I did the old, have you got anything else? And you should always ask that question because he had heaps of stuff. I've got a second basketball ring. Look at it, it's free. I got that for free. And I'm bringing home, it was once $2,000 brand new, Bowflex system. Not just the weights, the entire pulley system. It's an entire gym. Anyway, I'm getting it for 20 bucks. A couple of hours after that, I'm driving 20 minutes away to go pick up a boxing bag. But he also had some free kids scooters. And I thought, oh, why not? I got some paint and a skateboard. He showed me his truck that he's taken to the dump. Like a golf bag and golf clubs, and they look pretty good. And these ones, they don't have to clean as much. And he said he's throwing them out. And I said, oh, do you mind if I take them? And he's like, oh, no, you can take them. And then he gave me a bag full of lights. Oh, I was getting something else for free. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of weight plates. Oh, yeah, the guy came out with a wheelbarrow filled with barbell weights. It was a workout to be honest, because that was a lot of weight. He had 30 people contact him to get those weights, and I was the first. I got them because I was the first, and I came today. That's how you gotta do it. You know some people get called the old hack? Like, oh, the old hack? That's valuable wisdom, old hacks. I'll listen to an old hack any day. Anyway, so this was this was one of my old hacks. This is how you get the bargains. When you're at anyone's place, you just say, oh, have you got anything else that you're selling? And he did. And he said, I actually have a chainsaw. The thing is, is I really didn't need a chainsaw, but I didn't ask him how much it was. Like, I could have sold it if it was cheap enough, but mm -hmm. Anyway, I said, have you got anything you're throwing out? And he said, oh, well, I've just done a few tip runs already. This is this one's about to go to the tip and opened his van. Guess what was in there? That. Better than all the pinnacle ones that I got over there. This is different, it's a different brand. And it's a two shelf and it's already made. These shelves are thicker and sturdier. These are better shelves. It's just dirty. Now I'm going to steam clean these scooters. This will steam clean them. When there's steam, there's dirt, because it doesn't steam without dirt. It just agitates the dirt like away. It doesn't get rid of it completely unless you steam it for a really long time. But at least it like agitates it and moves it. And then I used a microfiber cloth and I just wiped away the now wet dirt. This is a glass cleaner, but it makes everything shiny. Uh, one of my favorite products from XO2 in Billy Heads. Anything that's shiny, this goes on just before photo time. And this scooter will shine. I've been taking the stickers off. So I tried some methylated spirits and a Q-tip. The easiest removal of stickers. He had a really, really cool power tower. He ended up giving us a deal, so he wanted to sell it for 50 bucks. He hadn't put it online yet. That's the story I get all the time. And he offered to give it to us for a deal. So we got a $30 bike, which is like a $400 bike, and then a $400 power tower for $30. So $30 each, 60 bucks, and we got both. And then he gave us an Olympic 20 kilo barbell for free, just because it was rusted, because nobody wants to buy that. I have a lot of stuff to do in the garage today. I've come in on a public holiday. Now my gut feels sick and my heart's pounding and now I can't think. All my confidence goes when my anxiety kicks up. Anyway, anxiety made me hungry, but it's okay because now I have a power tower so I can work out. I mean, it took, it took a while to put that together and clean it. I'm trying to clean this York power tower because I need to make it so I can get it out of the way. Everything I got is obviously dirty. The um, Bowflex unit is very dirty. The pictures look very unpresentable on Facebook Marketplace and no one cleans their stuff. Like hardly anyone cleans their stuff. People who are selling are like, oh, this stuff's worth so much, but nobody wants it. Thing is, people want clean stuff and they want new stuff. Or like near new, everyone wants something secondhand near new. So you have to clean it. Because people want to hire a cleaner 
and not pay them very much. They want you to work for like 20 bucks an hour, but you know, do a deep, deep clean, spend four hours on their bathroom, but do it in 20 minutes, but make it look four hours worth of clean. Now gross stuff, I don't know what that is. And then all this stuff's still in here. So this stuff will take longer and you have to just like shoot it off very closely. People just don't understand cleaning. Then they want to underpay you, so then they're like, oh no, and they don't pay you. And they go get somebody cheaper, it doesn't do a very good job. Or they do a great job and they're just really being abused. These are underpaid work at this point. This is very much like bond cleaning. This is where your cleaning skills, if you're a cleaner like me, come in handy. Because people underestimate the power of cleaning, which means I get stuff for free because they don't want to clean it because they don't realize if they cleaned it how much they could get, get for it. They could get hundreds of dollars for their stuff if they just cleaned it. So I've watched my cleaning tutorials and you can clean your stuff and uh, actually get something for it. You make it clean and then take very good photos. Because I can get money for everything because it's clean got taking good photos. So don't underestimate the power of cleaning. Look at all this stuff. I, I clean up this garage every single day and it's like perfect and then I bring something home and then it's all ruined. So this Bowflex was actually going to the tip. He had it at like $200 and he said no one was interested at all, like no interest. He put it down to $20, like $200 to $20 and that's when I grabbed it and I asked him like, are you sure, is it $20? And he said, yeah, no one's interested, nobody wants to buy this. wants rid of it now. He said if you waited one more week I would have put it up for free and if no one took it then it would have gone to the tip. So if nobody wanted it at $20, I don't think anyone would have wanted it at free because $20 basically is free for something worth $1,000 to $2,000. Obviously brand new in 2008. But this is an awesome system and Bowflex is an amazing brand. But no one's interested because nobody wants to buy stuff this dirty. This is still taking me hours. I've taken every single part, piece apart and given it all a very big deep clean. Just the dirt is thick and disgusting. I mean this is taking me half a day. I'm saving things that are going to a tip that would be just thrown into a landfill. This is a perfectly good system. It's got a little bit of rust, not much. I don't even have to de rust convert this. And I don't see just your average person who's already got a nine to five wanting to spend this much time on their weekend cleaning something like this. They're probably just not interested. And if no one is interested in maybe two weeks of that being up, I will assemble it and then I'll try again. And if still nobody's interested, I might just keep it because this thing's brilliant. This might just become my home gym. Part of selling on Marketplace is your photography. And look at how they sell cars and whatever kinds of photos they take to try and sell cars, take those kind of photos to try and sell things. Dismantle things so that they can fit in the car, make them clean, take photos of it, dismantle it, and then take more photos of it dismantled if you are going to help them get it in the car. And then also write, I will help you get it in the car. And that will add a lot of value to things. Don't underestimate the power of cleaning. And I ice sparkled it. Using ice sparkle on this makes it sell. It shows up really good in the photos. Even just taking the rust off these weights will actually increase I could probably get a dollar on the kilo for that but I'm gonna try and see if I can get two to three dollars on the kilo just after I get rid of the rust just pick this up this is what saves you uh, time when you don't have a trailer or a ute and you've got a car and you've got to do several trips for things is if you can find people who are willing to get rid of more stuff at the same location you only have to go out once so basically this is like four hauls in one 20 minute drive so this guy giving this one away, he said it was a $400 bike, which was probably a very long time ago. I want to remove these stickers. This is a Celsius brand. 
and this is their Eagle model. They have like the Hawk model currently in Rebel Sport. They have one called the BK something, I don't know. Some other kind of bird, I suppose. So this one's the Eagle. This one's probably fairly old. I can't find any information on it. This one's still a good nick. It's because people buy these and they just never use them. Probably get 60 for it. My right, sparkle is what I put on the golf clubs. This stuff's for anything shiny, especially metal. Oh man, it smells so good. So this is the Sabco Black Fiber Cloth from Bunnings. My favorite one. And this is disinfected as well. Just like, how gross is this? I used to buy and sell bikes. This is when I started. Someone's come in to look at the bike. Oh, she didn't come, she didn't show up, but it wasn't her fault because people have lives to live. Anyway, she might come back tomorrow and have a look. Then I saw the golf trolley for $30. I saw the golf balls yesterday for $25. dollars bugging me down to $25 and I thought, yeah, why not? Sold the shelves. $45. Those shelves cost me $2.50 because I used about half a tin of that $5 discount black paint. When you go to Bunnings, look at the sales special discount bargain trolley. Find out what colour it is. It was for 10 bucks. This was actually an $18 piece of material. The big one that I got for $5 from Bunnings. So it's like for wood. We're just gonna put it on. It's five dollars, so who cares? I just I just went for another drive and I picked up two of these. My nephew got one of these and they were $90 from Kmart, but like they got it from Marketplace for like 40 bucks. So I was like, oh, steal. Like this person was selling two. And they said, you can have two for 20 bucks, which means $10 each. They're half the size of my nephews. And I didn't I didn't expect that. Anyway, they're kind of cute. I'm gonna paint one um, white with the tin paint. That means these are $11. These cost me $11 and 40 minutes of my time driving. Sand these back and then I paint them. I have to go take some photos of this skateboard. So we're gonna, oh man, I've got so much to do. And I drove today because we're out. What I thought was whoop whoop. I was like, I don't go to somebody's shed. I don't go down a very long driveway. Anyway, he's a very nice person, very cool. But I didn't know that until we were here, so that's why he's here. Um, I'm trying to sell the exercise bike, and the plastic piece that I super glued on stayed on just fine. And the one that was on already that did not need super glue in decided to go and break itself right in front of the people that were trying to buy it popped off and cracked and made a very loud sound that was very embarrassing. I'm wearing my running jacket so if something does hit me, hopefully it'll bounce off. Today we are going to bust yo rust. Now I have to have a tetanus shot. 